Hey, welcome to my tutorial of how to format an ebook for KDP with Kindle Create. It's a really easy to use software. It's, it's pretty basic, it's, but it does its job very well. Um, and the great thing about it is that it's made specifically for uh, Kindle books. That means it's made specifically for uh, the, the platform, which means there, there are a lot less glitches. You can get things more as you want them. There's less guesswork, there's less headaches, and things, things are getting better for uh, self-publishers, which I'm very happy about. All right, so the first step is, all you gotta do is you just gotta download and install Kindle Crate. I'll leave a link down below in the description. Uh, it's pretty simple stuff. There's, uh, as usual, there's a link for uh, Windows, there's a link for Mac, I'm using a Mac. It uh, takes up around, on Mac, it takes up around like 250 megabytes. Just download it, install it, follow all the steps. I won't walk you through it, it's, it's very simple stuff. And once you've installed it, this is what this tutorial is going to cover for you. First, we'll import a book. I'll show you how to import a book. I'll show you the three options um, that they provide, the three book types that they provide, this the software provides for people. Then I will show you how chapter selection happens, pretty simple stuff. Then I will walk you through all of the formatting elements, all of the customizing features within the formatting elements. It's, it's nothing new, I'll just, I'll just show you where they are and how they work. I'll show you some of the themes that they offer. Currently there are four that will probably change with time. Uh, by the time you're watching this video, there may already be way, way, way more. Then uh, I'll also show you the preview feature. It's, it's really, really cool that you get to instantly see how your book will be viewed on Kindle. It's something that, you know, we didn't have. It's a luxury that we didn't have before. It allows you to make the best experience for your readers, which is what, what everybody wants at the end of the day. And then lastly, I'll just show you how to publish and export your file. All right, that's it. Let's get into the formatting. Now, uh, what you do is you open Kindle Create. That's the first step. Um, and then what you do is you click New Project from File. Now, these are the three options that they provide. Now, the most common one, the one that most of you need to choose is novels, essays, poetry, narrative, nonfiction. It's just, it's just pretty basic text kind of Kindle book uh, formatting. Uh, and that is what uh, most of you uh, need to choose here. Uh, but there is also options for comics, which I'm not gonna go into this tutorial, and textbooks, travel guides, cookbooks, music books. All right, let's choose our file. I have a demo file for us. Um, let it import for a couple of, a uh, couple of, seconds most likely, not minutes usually, depending on how dense and long your book is. All right, once it's finished importing, that took around, what, maybe 30, 40 seconds, not more. Um, you just get rid of all of these uh, tutorial screens unless you want them. And the first thing that it asks you to do, it asks you to select the chapter titles. Now, it's usually pretty accurate, but um, but you still may need to, for example, here, I don't really want it to, I wouldn't want it to select the, um, the title page, except selected, and next, blah, 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 this, I'm not really interested in this stuff. You may, however, want to read it, if you feel it helps you. Then next, let's have a look at the themes. I would suggest that you start with looking at the themes. It will, it kind of makes sense to do that first in the workflow, or you may just like play around with it for a while until you feel comfortable with it. So they offer four themes that I mentioned before. The first one, default one, is modern. It's kind of features, the titles feature sans serif fonts, and the text is kind of a light serif font, if I see it correctly. Then uh, we got Classic, which is a serif font. Uh, it features serif fonts in, in the title as well as the body text. Then it's Cosmos, it's more kind of has a more digital feel. 
And then the last one is Amour, uh, which is probably good for maybe romance books. Um, it, ha it features this like cursive uh, font for the titles. And I believe it's the same font for the body text, but I may be wrong. Just have a look at them and choose whichever one of them you feel fits the, the theme of your uh, book. Let's see, I'll stick with modern for this one. And yeah, here we have all of these separate elements. And how you use them is uh, quite straightforward. You've probably done this before if you're familiar with Word. All you got to do is you select it, for example, like this. And let's say I want to tell Kindle Create that this is a title. I want it to be a title. Or maybe I want it to be a subtitle. And this is what it's going to do. It's going automatic, to automatically format it as a chapter subtitle. Then we have first, you, you probably are familiar with the style. You have a chapter first paragraph, have a gigantic first letter. Um, if you feel that fits your book, go ahead and choose that. You've got the separators. It looks like this for this theme. Um, then you have all of, all of these formatting elements <coughs> right here. And you can, of course, you can, you can uh, be more uh, detailed with it. And you, what you can do is you can select the indentations. You can, uh, you can select the right, right uh, sizes for them. And you got all this stuff. It's, I'm sure you're familiar with it. Uh, you've probably used these types of formatters before. They're very, there's, there's not much new here. But this is how it uh, looks. And as I mentioned before, the awesome thing about this is that you have, we, we know for sure, whilst, whilst you're doing this, you know for sure that this will directly translate to Kindles. And where you can check this is in the preview feature, which I really like. So you just go through the preview. You can check what uh, everything, how everything looks, how everything feels, tweak it, and you can kind of put yourself in the shoes of your reader, and you can kind of tweak things, correct things, uh, how you want them uh, to be for you, and you know, you it, it just you have more control in your hands, which which is something that I always like. It's it's always a good thing. And then when you're done, when you're done with doing all of these changes, uh, what you do is, well, first of all, you, you save your file. And then once you're done, you hit publish. And choose your location, whatever suits you. Uh, choose your tile. Uh, I will call it demo file. And save it. File is ready to publish. OK. Very good. And that is it. Then you have your ebook file in KPF format, which you upload straight to KDP. And you're going to have your beautifully formatted ebook available for, for sale for everybody to see. And it's going to, you know, you're not going to get those nasty reviews when somebody's upset that formatting is not right. I hope this was uh, useful. I hope this helped you to see how it looks, how it feels, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, it's, it's simple. It do does its job and it does it well. I hope this was useful, and I will catch you soon. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this information valuable, please leave this video a like, and also do not forget to subscribe so you can get notified when we release new videos. And just one last thing before you go, I would like to invite you to get a free copy of our report, Best Selling Book Marketing Checklist. It will show you all the action steps that you got to take to publish books that sell. No matter if you're new to self-publishing or if you've been doing this for a while, there's value for you in this report. I personally wrote it so I can stand by those claims. To get it, uh, all you have to do is just click the link below and follow all the steps. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you soon.